matron take them away. And a warm welcome to Morning Watch with me, the Scruff, on this fine day, 6th of November. Is it a fine day? It's a lot better than it has been. Because uh, it's been wild up here with the storms, etc. But have the charts raised up a storm? Well, let's grab our coffee and find out. Now, these videos, we're going to look at the economic news, see if there's any major spikes you want to be looking at today. And we're also going to be looking at my strength sheet to show you the strongest and weakest and hopefully find a watch list for you. Now these videos are done publicly on a reward basis. I'm looking for 125 likes for it to go live again tomorrow. If not, it stays behind closed doors in the Discord group. So let's jump into this and have a little quick look. There's not a great deal to worry about today from a news point of view. Now through the night, there was next to nothing. As we go on into this morning, it's kind of currently quarter to eight in the morning. Um, there's nothing really kicking off till around nine o'clock. Um, and it's all very low level. And it's across Euro news. So if you're Euro, Dollar, the DAX, CAC, anything like that, just look for short term spikes because they are, they are PMIs. And PMIs do have a tendency to throw the market and certainly keep an eye on the indices. Um, it won't be excessive, but if you've got a relatively tight stop, it could take it out, okay? Now, from there, there's next to nothing up till this afternoon. And again, it filters back to the euro. Now, it's incredibly low impact, so there's nothing to sing home about. We move into three o'clock with a PMI from the Canadian dollar. So if you're looking at commodity based, so oil, things like that, and any of the sort of Canadian pairs, so pound CAD, US CAD, that sort of thing, it will spike in and around that time. But it's, it's very low key. So today is more a technical day than anything else. And as you can see, as it runs through, there is nothing, nothing at all to sink home. So how does this push you over into the strengths for this week? Because last week was quite an odd week. Well, we've got the New Zealand that's moved to the top and JPY is still incredibly weak, but it's been weak for quite a while. Now it started to move up and then it's lost two points back down again. And it's also one of the biggest losers. It lost 19 points from the last day of the source, which is quite significant. However, because it's been so cheap so long, there could well be a movement due. And these are things that you need to be very, very careful of. So when you're looking at things like pound JPY, where it has pushed aggressively over the last two days, in fact, it's never even looked back, it'll run out of steam and then it'll be an ideal fib retracement. Now, from the movement points, the Swiss is starting to climb back up the ladder from being on the floor and the CAD has started to descend. Now that could be leading up to the PMI this afternoon. Um, I don't genuinely trade those two, so it doesn't really matter. And New Zealand JPY, mm, I'll have a look at it, but it's not really something I would put on my radar. Um, and when things are a little bit thin on the ground, which they are, I have a tendency to just go back to the majors, things like cable, euro dollar, that sort of thing. Now, when we look at this, we can see the pound is in the top three, so it is a strong contender. And if I'm going to start looking at pairs, I always look at the strong contenders first and a major, and there it is there. So, I'll be kind of keeping an eye on the pound today. So the pound has gained quite a lot of ground. The dollar has lost a bit of ground. So it's back to cable. And we'll have a little look at that. So that's my choice. I'll be kind of probably trading cable today. Um, it's got good movement and it'll pay me every single day. Now, if I come and have a look at it, 
as you can see it's had a colossal move up it hasn't retraced but it's starting to move so if i push this out to the daily so we can see roughly what's going on with this if i put some parameters into this just down to the bottom which is there whoops sorry drop that back on for you which is there ah, bloody hell i've done it again it's too early in the morning guys too early in the morning right get that down to there there we go that's better that's better silly billy right what i'm doing here is i'm actually setting up a trading arena based on a daily movement which is there okay so i can see the price is now locked in between two levels a main attraction come down now i can see this has actually had a solid move up if i'm working between there it's in a midpoint so it can easily push to the top or come down and bounce down here well if that's the case i, I need some kind of boundaries for this as well very very simple Pull that up to there. I know this is bust through, but I can see a colossal move here. And I just want to get some gauge points of where I might buy it. I would probably look for a retracement back on itself and look to buy in and around this region here to go up to there. That would be my play. I'd be definitely looking to buy this today. Um, but I do think it's at a stretch point, so I'd want to see it come back on itself and down into this region seems reasonable to me. Okay, so that's my quick breakdown. Trade well, keep yourself safe today because uh, the markets can be very unpredictable. And certainly on a Monday, I don't like trading on a Monday, but cable looks pretty darn good today and I'll be definitely buying the retracement so as always guys trade well keep your risk managed but above all do what you love and the money will follow see you all in the next one